Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at dynamic input within AutoCAD. This is going to allow you to see or show your dimensions including length and angle as you're drawing line work within AutoCAD. This can be a big time saver. It's also a question I've been asked quite a bit of how to turn this on and off as well as how to use it. So in today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at how to use dynamic input to show dimensions while drawing. Let's check it out. All right, so getting started, what is dynamic input? Dynamic input provides a kind of roving or moving command line or input interface uh, for when you're drawing objects within AutoCAD. Uh, you can see an example of this if I type in PL for property line you can see the coordinates there are Dynamically moving along with my cursor. I can also type in Different coordinates into these boxes using tab to switch between them To choose my coordinates. So I've just entered in 120 and 120 by hitting tab to alternate between the two coordinate boxes by hitting enter it's going to start in a line from that coordinate when you've started the line the boxes you can see are now going to be polar relative coordinates or relative coordinates. So this is going to be, say, you can see the number there, around 200 from my starting point at an angle of 47. If I want it to be exactly that, I can type in 200, then hit tab to switch to the angle, and say we want to do it at 45 degrees, and hit enter. So now we've got a line at 200 units long, at a 45 degree angle and then from here it's going to be relative again so you could change it to say 250 units at a zero degree angle and hit enter so that's how dynamic input works it's also going to show you uh, available inputs depending on the command that you're within as well as kind of tool tips occasionally when you're hovering over things or uh, within commands so as you can see from that quick demo, this can be a pretty useful uh, tool to have turned on, especially when you're drawing things quickly or you know uh, the various dimensions and angles of your objects. It's a quick way to, to rough in a sketch or a drawing. Uh, although at the same time, occasionally this can get in the way. Uh, it's something that I'll tend to turn off when I'm working with Civil 3D. Uh, just because I don't tend to draw lines like this and I don't want the cluttered inputs. To turn it on and off quickly, you can simply hit F12 and now the command has been turned off. So I can draw my line and those dynamic boxes are not going to pop up. So if you're looking to remove them, simply hitting F12 or down here on the uh, status bar, you can choose to click on and off dynamic input or hit F12. So that's the basics of dynamic input. If you guys like to go into this further or try it out, I highly recommend it. Uh, it can be super useful and a great time saver. If you guys like this tip uh, or any of the two minute tips or anything on the channel, don't forget to check out my productivity webinar. It's available for 20% off to viewers and subscribers like yourself. Uh, and the link is down below and I'll also put one up above. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.